right, folks, here we go, and what a miraculous run it has been for this 135-pound woman. She fought for the belt back in the day, didn't get the title, everybody left her for dead. Look at her now. She never believed that she was done. She knew that she would get back, even if everyone around her told her it would be very difficult. She put her head down, she went to work, and she's back now. And she feels like because of that journey, the ups and the downs, the, the, the torment that she had to go through, being de depressed, not being the champion, all that has built her to be the person that can take the belt tonight. A lot of valuable lessons learned. She's never looked better on the scale. Perhaps that will be an indicator of things to come tonight. Amanda Nunes steps into the octagon, and this time she wants to leave with the belt. Arguably the most dominant champion the women's game has ever seen. Enter former UFC women's bantamweight champion, Rowdy Ronda Rousey. Just the biggest star in MMA up to Conor McGregor coming here, taking over. Ronda Rousey was just truly, truly something special. Ronda Rousey was just one of the biggest stars mixed martial arts has ever seen. From the debut in Strike Force with the quick armbar to Jean LaBelle holding a stopwatch every time she fought. Yeah. She just had that star appeal. And she had enough to share. She didn't need to use it all on herself. She could give something to me. She can give something to this guy, yeah. this guy, this guy, this guy. And there was enough. A massive fight star, a massive movie star, just a mainstream star is Ronda Rousey. the date for this women's bantamweight championship fight. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. <laughs> Championship of the world. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, presenting the challenger, Amanda the Lioness Nunes. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed. Champion of the world, Rowdy Ronda Rousey! All right, Herb Dean, our referee for this one, just about to get underway. All right, so here we go with round one, a massive fight feel in this arena tonight, because for the first time since 2016, the great Ronda Rousey is back and believes she has solved some problems here as she tries to rematch Amanda Nunes. Yes, she has rediscovered that desire to fight in the octagon. And what motivated her was the thought of fixing the result of the Amanda Nunes fight. She got embarrassed the first time. She wants to go out this time and make sure that the result is different. She's got a good front kick and certainly put it to good use there. She really understands face man. Oh! Oh, judo toss. Made it look easy. Oh, now lands a kick to the body. Nice shot there by the champ. All right, so just as her corner set in our fighter, maybe she was going to close the distance and try to get the clinch early. 
mission accomplished. Now we'll see how her opponent can respond. I wonder how hard she's going to go to try to get this to the ground now. Because we know how comfortable she is in the clinch. Let's see the approach that she takes as the fight goes on. Nice body shot. Rousey gets hit yet again and again. Same target area, that body. She got that single collar tie. Rousey gets caught with that punch. Nice one-two there from Amanda Nunes. The boxing really looks sharp tonight. It looks sharp, man. She trains down at America's Top Team, one of the best MMA teams in all of fighting. And right now, you see that they've got her locked in. And Two minutes have gone by. Oh. All right, so once again, no surprise. She shoots for a takedown here. Maybe somewhat surprising that she hasn't been able to take her down with much consistency. In the build-up to the fight, she said, there's no way my opponent can stop me from securing a takedown. Well, at this point, she was very wrong. Oh, she gets the takedown here. That could be big. Way to kick her off and try to get some space to get up. How good was that judo toss? Big right hook there by Tim. Huge kick right there. Don't want to take too many more of those. What a strike by her. Then back to back down. But one still stands. She's still standing. She's still standing. Two minutes. Rousey gets caught by that straight hand. That high kick will get you spinning. Great land there. Good shot, good shot. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, Rousey's nose is bleeding now. Looks to be cut perhaps there on the bridge. Well, she keeps going back to that right hand. This one's not there for her. Oh, she got inside and right to the single collar top. Well, I oh, she's officially wobbled now. Oh, nice right hand. All right, so just the way she drew it up in our fighter meeting on Thursday, Amanda Nunes really showcasing her striking here tonight in this match. It, it's her calling card. You can forget that Amanda Nunes is also a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt because she's so good to stand up. But when you can... Oh! One minute to go in the round. All right, so a lot of blood becoming a factor now as she continues to attack that round. You know, I remember when the cut first happened, you saw her smile. Like, okay, I got her now. Now I'm in my, now I'm in my zone. But now all this blood, you can see she's almost having a great time because every time she hits her, the blood flies. She can see the effect of the strikes. It, it is perfect for this young lady, this crazy young lady, because yeah. she loves doing out punishment. All right, so she told us in the fighter meeting the body shots were going to be key, and they certainly have been. She invested early, and now you're starting to see some damage on the other side. Yeah, she's doing a great job of following the game plan. She spoke to us in the fighter meeting about going to the body, about investing, not worrying about seeing the outcome right away. And it's starting to show now as this fight gets going. Big knee lands there. Oh, what a round. How good was that? Stop, stop, stop. All right, so there's the horn indicating the end of the round. We will keep an eye on this cut. You see the cut man racing in there. Cut, it looks like it's on the bridge of the nose. They'll try to shut that thing and prevent it from being a factor for her here moving forward. Looks like he'll close it up now. All right, so that's the end of the round. Lot to like in there, DC, particularly when it comes to her offensive wrestling. She's evolving, right? She's gotten better. She did not have this skill set before. Now you watch her and she looks like an Olympian. She looks like a girl that can wrestle at the highest levels. She scored so many takedowns in that round. Her wrestling coach must be very proud. You ready to fight? Ready. Here we are, early round two. All right, here we go with our next.
next round, two of the best women in this division. We'll see who takes the upper hand. You got to make a decision when you get up all the way. Probably her best strike in the fight. Her best strike, and you don't see this type of power normally in this weight class. But she lands, and she lands very effectively. That was a jab. As he gets caught by that straight punch, you got to do better than that defensively. Another strike to the head lands. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Good jab there by the champion. Oh, nice jab. All right, now we get a little bit of separation. She's got phenomenal reflexes. Well, Rousey's blocking pretty well now, so an adjustment made by the fighter to protect an outstanding job by her there to change levels and get this fight to the ground. What do you guys call that, an ankle pick? I mean, that's an ankle pick, but there's a lot that goes into it for her to execute it in the fight. Amazing. So just as we saw in the previous round, she is realizing a lot of success with her kickboxing game tonight, and you can see the confidence growing with every strike win. It's overwhelming for her opponent to be in there with her when she's in this flow state. She's so good at everything she's doing that now the activity is starting to pick up. If she can continue to fight in this way, I wouldn't be surprised if this fight gets finished. Well, not just a high output fight to this point, but a high accuracy fight as well. Both fighters, oh, looking for the submission now. Oh, that looks tight to me. It looks like it might be locked in. Yeah, it looks like it's done. It looks like it's done. Oh, wow, oh, oh. Work. oh great submission defense as she gets out. Beautiful transition. Oh, and how about that? They make their way back to the feet. Crowd going crazy. What a moment for these two guys. The crowd is losing their mind. While they like the crowd, they love the good stand-up fight. All right, so the storyline developing. You see a cut has been opened around her eye. She's got a cut on her eye. She's been getting hit in that same spot. The cut's nothing too big right now. But if she doesn't protect it, it'll get her, of course. Oh, somehow she gets out. I thought it was over. I thought it was over, but that's one thing you know. Never underestimate these fighters in their submission defense. Well, submission offense is somewhat of a lost art in modern day MMA, but she knows what she's doing, and yet the defensive fighter continues to thwart her. Especially off your back. She's so good off of her back that she's giving herself a chance to get these submissions. But her opponent is so gifted defensively. She's so responsible. She's doing a great job of just staying safe every time her opponent tries to submit. Oh, nice job by her to posture up there. Now we'll see if she can maintain that separation. She has to recognize that her opponent will start trying to squirrel away now, but look for her big ground pound. Well, we haven't really seen her famed jiu-jitsu game just yet, but of course, if it's not broken, don't fix it, and she has realized a ton of success with her striking her team. Every day, you have to get better. One percent, they say, as an athlete. She has shown that she got better every single day in her training camp because we don't see her chasing takedowns as desperately as we normally see. She is comfortable in the stand-up, and she is winning these striking exchanges. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, she's leaking a lot of blood now. That cut is getting worse with every strike land. Is that a huge strike right there, DC? Great shot landed. Now she's got to go chase her down and get another one off to finish the fight. Oh, landed that kick to the leg. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one. This is big. That's big. 30 seconds to go in round two. Oh. Nunez's nose is just pouring blood. Oh. Seconds winding down in round two. All right, round three coming up next. 
All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round, and they better get going on that cut. I would not say it's critical per se, but getting more severe by the moment. Well, she absorbed way too many damaging strikes in that previous round. We'll see if we can isolate the replay that caused the cut. Yeah, she was on the receiving end of a beating, man. It did not look competitive. And when you get hit with shots like this, big shots, shots that matter, you start to show damage. That cut opened up, and she is really struggling with it now. Ready to fight. Ready. All right, here we go with this third round of this championship. What a strike by her there. I'd be knocked out. Her opponent's still standing. She's still standing, but she's got to get on her bike, John. She's got to get out to the center of the octagon, find her face so that she can evade her opponent for finishing her. Oh! Strikes right continue down. to land. Nice job to target that cut and land again. Blood becoming a real factor now. Now it's tight. There it is. She's trying to finish the armbar. She's got to be patient, though. If she rushes, she will lose this position. Oh, tremendous escape by her there. Beautiful submission defense on display by this young lady. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. Nunez is in half court. Nice. Well, Rousey's really bleeding something fierce now. That cut is not getting any better. All right, so Nunez is back in full mount. Oh, she's in trouble, dude. All right, nice transition into full guard if you're the top five. Watch the armbar, but watch the armbar here. Ooh, arms in tight. Oh, crowd goes wild as she escapes another submission. They respect great fighting. All the skill that they are seeing tonight should be applauded. Rousey's eye was starting to swell now. All right, so her ground control is outstanding. Half guard is when she's at her most dangerous. Yes, yeah, she's at her most dangerous when she has a half guard because she's so brutal with the ground and pound. She likes to go after fighters and really wear on them, force them to make decisions to give their backs so that she can chase her submissions or they're gonna lay on their back and just get beaten up to the top from that beautiful half guard position. And now she has her back. And we have passed the midpoint of the fight. Good, solid strike on the ground. Another strike gets through from the top position. Well, hard to win fights in mixed martial arts from the bottom, but nice work here in that position by Nunes. She's stepping over the ball here. Great submission defense on this play tonight. Oh, this is some high-level, efficient, effective ground and pound by Rousey. All right, so no surprise to see her continuing to attack that area. That cut is going to get wider with every passing moment of the fight. You know, generally you expect it to get worse. When you're fighting someone like her, you know it's going to get worse because she's as sharp and as crisp as any. Well, Rousey's trying for a submission here. She's got it tight. Oh, how about that? Position over submission. Probably a good decision there. Rousey's right back to the full mount here. Making all these shots count. Attempting a choke now. Oh, now it's getting tight. Oh, man, that was slick. Outstanding grappling battle, and now back to the feet. Huge Immediately gets the underhook. 
Well, her reactions are really starting to change now. Oh! That'll do it! Oh, my goodness! Yeah, that was just a beautiful shot by her there to end the fight. I'm not sure she could have drawn it up any better than it played out here tonight. She lands the seminal blow there midway through the round. I'm not even sure her opponent saw it coming. So, big, big knockout win for her here tonight. All right, the official decision is in. Here's Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 26 seconds of round number three. We're going to win her by knockout and new undisputed UFC bantamweight champion of the world, Amanda Lioness of the Ring. Nunez! All right, so the Lioness, Amanda Nunez, your winner by knockout. No judges needed, no scorecards needed, and 